So the finals has been out for about 10 months or so, and they've already added a bunch of skins, like a lot. So now is a good time, Zenny. Make a tier list of every weapon skin set there is in the game. I'll probably be missing some skins by tomorrow, but we ball regardless. And remember, this is my opinion. You have yours. And I'm right. Starting with that big dipper, that's S tier. Also, we're going from S down to C and then just boring. So next we got this black and white camo, really gray and white with the blue accents. It's all right. I'll give it a B tier. The bedazzled pistol, so like the V9S and the revolver. Also B tier, I don't, it feels like the rapper that went broke. That's how I, I view that skin. This odd scramble of colors and designs, I'll put that in C. The white skins with the pink scan that go over it, I can appreciate some of the simple ones, so I'm gonna give that one A. But this orange and white camo, and then the white with the orange accents, those are both C tier. And the black and gold skull set that came out this season, it, it's a height. I guess it's not as bad as like the other C tier, so I'll put it in B, but I, I don't love it. Gold has got to, it's got to be done such a specific way for me to actually like it. It just ends up looking corny most of the time. Then we got the tiger skin with the fattest suppressor or one of the fattest suppressors in the game. There's probably a bigger one somewhere. That one I'll give. For the suppressor, I'll, I'll, I'll give it B. I still don't love the thing. The zapper, I don't know what the actual name is, but that one's the S tier. I like that one. Plus, since we have sights now, it's probably usable. I'd imagine the iron sights weren't, weren't great on that one. The slew of tactical skins, because there's like the tactical sets, and then there's like the realistic ones that they put in the inventory just like from the jump. But these tactical ones, they've come out roughly last season. I can appreciate them. I think I have one of them for like the, the sh medium shotgun. So I I'll give it a, I'll give it an A tier. The blue like hue with the, the pink and the rose on it. I don't know what it is about it I don't like, but yeah, that's a C tier. Not boring, but like it's just there. The circuit board skin on the VNS. It's a cool idea, B tier. And then our first boring rating is like all of the progression skins that are just the basic colors. So like you got the red, the blue, the white. And for some reason I forgot to put the yellow in my screenshots, but yeah, if they just made them metallic instead of this super dull and muted version of the colors, I think they would look a lot better. But as they are, they're all in the boring tier. Then there's the purple progression skin. That one's B, it's not my favorite, but it was just like, kind of the thing to get because it's like a different looking skin that you can get for free and then they decided to go pimp carpet on the other two the pink tiger one i actually kind of like that one i'll give that one an a and then the black tiger or leopard whatever it is b tier crash dummy says c black with this scan thing going on b pixelated lh1 and just the pixelated skin in general that one's s tier i mean i've used it in probably a few thumbnails already so you could probably guess that gray and white basic camo from like one of the 100 coin skins that one's boring this digital dark green and black camo i'm pretty sure that's playstation plus one that one yeah that, i'm put that in the boring tier the pink flower one though the black and pink one is cool i feel like it would look better with white or just something that isn't black i don't really like the black on it but i will give it a b tier tan camo also b this multicolor mess is this is a lot of bees i can't lie but that's also be the dark green strike him i like it more than the digital one i'll give that one c the neon tube i'll say a osprey splatter one see this is what i mean like the yellow if they made it like this kind of shine on the progression skins or even shinier like the rank skins then they would they would look a lot better i feel like they should do that but this one in particular i'll give it an a i do i like how they did it nah b b b the engimo guns just, just all of them in general i like the color looks nice on the bow looks nice on a lot of things actually so i'll give that one a tier the wood grain the wood grain i like a lot i'll give that one an s the black wood grain though i'll give that one a the green skulls i just don't like it also looks kind of flat so i'm putting that one in boring same goes for this hazard wrap orange thing boring tier the green jade though that's an s so is the gundam set the archery olympic set i can appreciate this one this this one's an a tier then we got like the one from season two where it's basically black but it's got a purple scan going over the whole thing it's a b tier like it's cool it, it went with the theme pretty well and the black with the specs that one's boring but you know it's one of the cheaper skins it's okay now this basic with the digital effect one i don't know why this is 800 coins genuinely i have no clue this should be 100 it should be in the progression like the level ups rewards so it's in the boring tier i might put it in its own tier because the fact that this is 800 is crazy the lifeguard pistol i like a lot i'm gonna put that in s the blue titanium set this has like an rpg too i think looks nice on that that's, that's an S tier. There's another example of like how to make a color look nice instead of the progression ones. The wood grain with the, the flower wedding 
thing on it. I'll say A. The basic orange one with the circle is about 100 coins, along with the zebra one. Put those both in the boring tier for me. This multicolored skulls thing is C tier. I just don't like the way it looks. It's just too much. It feels like you popped everything and this is what you're seeing. But the chrome with the wood, A tier. The realistic ones, this is the difference I meant. Like there's another version of this MP5 with like a flashlight on it, but then there's just this one that you can buy it. Pretty sure from the time the game dropped. I can appreciate them putting it there. I will put this one specifically in the boring tier, but I like that they made the AK with the wood grain on it. When this is all black, I don't care much, but I can appreciate it on the AK more. Also, I was wrong about the one earlier. That was not PS Plus. This one is PS Plus. I put this one in C. I like the white a lot more. I'll put that in A. Have any of my ratings annoyed you yet? The answer is yes, don't lie. If they did, leave a like and we'll continue. And we got one of the ranks here. This is the platinum one. I didn't know they were gonna have like the Damascus, if that's even what it is, the pattern on it. I thought it was just gonna be like a solid gray. It's, an, it's a nice touch. I think that's pretty solid. They did the same thing for the gold, but this platinum one, that's an A. The starter bundles, B. I don't really love them. I just kind of buy them when I want to get some coins because like, you know, they give you the coins back anyway. This white with the orange little decal, I'm putting it in the boring tier because you might as well just get the white progression skin for free, bro. Like, it's a very, very little difference. And we got the laser tag floor. Not my thing, but I can appreciate it. That's a B tier. The Starry Knight, they re we just overlaid it over the entire gun with the shotgun I'm looking at, but I still like it for some reason. I'm putting that in A tier. The Halto Bronze. The Halto, that's my sponsor. I'm secretly a die soon man, but I'm just waiting for that to actually be an option. How do I gotta do better? I talked about character skins in the video I dropped at the same time as this one, but Halta, we gotta do better in general, man. This one is like a C tier. The black and white anime skin, B tier. Black and orange circuit board, C. I, I, I just don't like it that much. I don't know what to tell you about that one. The green camo with the orange, also a borderline boring tier, honestly. They took like two of the things we've already seen, just like threw a little orange on it. So yeah, I'm gonna put that one in boring. The gold rank skin, I think this is. If, unless it's just a gold plated set there could very well be i looked at every set in the game bro i don't really remember but i'ma say b tier the lava set is cool i appreciate them putting it on the flamethrower at least so i'll give it a tier the blueprint one i think is kind of cool they got the pencils on the side and everything i'll give that b tier probably should have said this earlier also i'm not really considering animations unless it's just like heavily essential to the thing like if it's like when we get to the stick skin, skins like that, yeah, the animations matter more, but most of these, it really doesn't. This old school army looking one. The barrel is kind of cool, but eh, C tier. The basic Ospies one, boring tier. There's a ridiculous amount of Ospies stuff. I get it's like the title sponsor, but it's a lot. It seems like a lot sometimes. The paint splatter set from this season's battle pass. Season four, by the way, in case you're watching this like six months down the line, but this is one of them that I didn't like. I didn't really love this season's battle pass. I had like, I had two sets I liked. Everything else I was either like, eh, or I just didn't like it at all. This is one that I just didn't like. I'm putting that in the boring tier, I'm not gonna lie. The, this floral one, this white and red floral skin, I don't use it all that often. I think it looks nice in the FAMAS, so I'll give it a B tier. The Vaporwave also B. Now this is one that, where the animation matters. This is the, you just print out whoever you killed. Like if it didn't have the animation, it'd be in the boring tier. It's a black, it's a blacked out gun. But because it's prints the receipt, that's where we appreciate it. That's why it's A tier. For the controller skin, like this one, it's got a cord, like you're gonna plug it in. It's got a cartridge on the shotgun for the medium. These are S. The M11 also has a different uh, firing sound. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. And we got two more Ospoos skins. One with the bottled Ospoos in the barrel. I think this is like the best Ospoos themed gun skin. And I like that it doesn't have a stock. I'll give it an A tier. The ammo wrapped one is B. Like we have sights now so it's more usable but before bro I could not see anything. You can't see much in general with that gun but with the ammo belt in your face at the same time it was even worse. The neon skeleton set this one I'll give it a B. It's still ride. Besides the barrel and like the little decal it rides very close to the basic one. Now the koi set that one's hard. That's an S tier. Especially on the Lewis gun like the giant barrel and they got the fish swimming around and then when you shoot like it's the fish flying out of the um it flies out the gun. I forget the chamber. Lord. And another blacked out one with a little scan or maybe I already did this one. I'm gonna say B. Firefox. I don't know why I like these ones so much, but I'm giving it A tier. The Easter eggs, C. Pink flames also look pretty nice. I think that one's A. The Nickelodeon slime one, B. The pink stickered one, sniper. It's probably on a few other guns, but that's just what I'm seeing. C, it's whatever. And then this black with the like purple and pink grid. 
it's just another one that's just there. Uh, I wouldn't give it C. I'll give it a B tier. Now this sniper, I call this the 4K skin. It prints out the picture. I don't know if it actually prints a picture of the person you kill, but I really don't care. Because the design of the rest of the gun itself is still pretty nice. So I'm gonna give this one S tier. The black and gold dragon, that's a B. The cardboard set, that is S tier. Then the ghillie set, I think this is the $20 set right now. I'll give it an A. I don't know who chewed on this pencil, but stabbing somebody with a knot on pencil is kind of funny. So I'll give that an S tier. Then the chef's knife, the dagger got so many nice skins. I never use that thing ever, but it's A. Switchblade with the, um, it's like a reflective, wrap on it also a deadpool's baby knife that's an s tier can you even see the thing when you're using it and then whatever this is i don't i don't know what it is but getting stabbed by something this dull you know how strong you gotta be like okay i'll give that s the black and red volpe set that's a boring tier and we got stick all type we got the sword stick we got the looney tunes hammer stick and then we got the revolver stick even if these didn't have i don't know what the animations are on the sword or the hammer but the revolver even if it didn't have the animations it'd still be s tier because why is the trigger a nail? The fencing sword I would give A. The katana slash katanas because of the dual sword. They look really nice. That's an S tier. The bat, I actually despise sword dashers and they seem to like this one a lot. So now we're going to give it the C tier because I don't like them. Card knives. Yeah, throwing knives gives them fire skin draw. This is S. I like the throwing stars. The scissors is S. The aces is S. CDs and the throwing stars. I'm putting that all in S. And if you want to take notes, mid fight, we have this F card here. This is actually one of my favorite ones. It's actually not that much to it, but I appreciate that the notes actually come off the gun a little bit. I think this is the S tier skin. Now the diamond skin, this is hard. If you never use ray tracing, if you if you can, you don't, just turn it on. Just turn everything on Epic for a little bit. Your GPU will be fine, bro. This game don't really beat your GPU like that at all. And just, just let it dazzle for a second. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. But yeah, this is the season two gun, I think. Oh, I definitely pay rank in season three. Yeah, this is season two. So that is that is the S tier. The sticker bombed one. The stickers come off, but I just don't like the sticker choices. Or just like the how the colors came together, I guess. That one's B tier. This is one where my fake sponsor could do better. Side. Side. This is Daisoon's F car. It is a B tier. This one's real recent. This is the vine wrapped set i think they had the sniper and i'm showing it whatever it is so it really doesn't matter but yeah i think that's an a tier and then this fama specifically you had to get it by going to the website and giving them your email i think and then they gave you some multi bucks or what are they even called multi bucks they gave you some coins with it it's all right it's got a red line for one of the iron sights like the one in the middle between the two it is red so it makes it a little bit easier to use i guess but b tier the vintage from us somebody would probably pose with a four fit pick with this gun if they had it i like it i like it i'll give it an a tier then we got all reliable on the model especially in the betas bro when like you just they gave you coins just for no reason at all you could just buy stuff that you didn't keep it but you could buy it for the time being this is one of them ones bro i actually don't love the way it looks all that much but the animations carry it so much that it's s tier the paintballer i feel like the cl40 never gets skins but i don't like that gun anyway so it's okay this is nice though i like this is s tier and this is the realistic one i'm putting it on its own thing because like i said i like it more i feel like this is a tier and then we got this orange black with the eggshell white this is where the colors just come together like they come together nice like it's not doing too much but i still like it a lot this is a tier now i don't know where this one came from probably season two if i had to guess it is something it is b tier now the wood grain dragon is a but the engine mode dragon mm. No, I'm putting them both in S. Wood Green and Angemo Dragon. I'm putting those in S. The Ospu's Western. I thought we were done with the Ospu skins for real. But I'm assuming this is the last one. I'm going to say this one's B tier. It's got the little spur on the back. And then they combined it with the Wood Green skin. It's like, you know, it's like the fifth one. So do we really care at this point? Probably not. But it's okay. We got the Isul T skin. It goes along with if you pick that sponsor i think it looks nice it's the a tier got the neon markered one it looks i don't think this is the laser tag floor from earlier i'll correct it if it is this one's like b now this shoe skin i don't know why i don't like it it just it's just weird to look at and not in a good way and it's not boring so i'm gonna give it a c tier the disco ball i'll say b elvis's chopper uh i don't like it that much that's c tier the black rose yeah this is nice this is it's a s tier same thing for the old western then we got the snub nose but we also have the snubber nose i'm gonna say that both of those are a and then this big red the just way longer barrel than those other two 
I'm gonna say B. I do like the way they did the, the red like paint finish. And the black and red Gundam swords, the Daisun swords. I'm gonna say S. This video reminded me that the dual swords are even in the game because I completely forgot about them. Then they got this Orf cartoon set. It looked like they wanted to be Wee Bear Bears, but then they gave up. It's a B, it's okay. Security set, B, it's there. The wood grain chrome from the uh, battle pass. These look really nice. The lava lamp, I don't know if it's on anything but the RPG, but the RPG, it's not a gun, or it's not like a full on weapon in the game, but it's close enough for me to put it in here. That's S tier. That's hard. The level of skin, I don't know if they actually work. I think I tried to like look at it the first time, but I don't remember if it did or not. You can let me know. This one's an A tier. I appreciate the creativity on it, but most of the time I'm just gonna be looking at it straight yellow. So there's that. The flame decal, I'd put in B. The super soaker, that's S. This is probably like way too much to ask for for over one skin, but like if it fired water, and they just took the fire effects anyway. And the Vegas Lewis gun, the thing actually spins really fast. Like I wasn't expecting that when I first got it. So that's that's an S tier skin. I am kind of tired of looking at it, but it's been around for so long. So it, that's not the gun's fault. This retro cannon, this reminds me of one of those like old school, um, like cassette tape picker things. Jukeboxes, golly. But yeah, it reminds me of one of those. It reminds me of a jukebox. And the shape is a little different. I'll give it an A tier. The snakeskin spear, whatever, C tier. Olympic spear is kind of nice. I think it's sharp too, looking at this picture, but I'll give it an S tier. The snake bamboo, I don't like it as much. I'll give it A. The marbled side is B. I put we not finna fix it on this. This comically large wrench. This is the S tier. Bamboo stick is an A tier. The lollipop, S tier. And the hammer to let you know I'm judging you is S tier. Did I miss something? I'm sure you'll tell me. That is everything. This is the full list. It was a lot of A's and B's probably, but yeah, it is all there. I also did the contestant skins as sets because I wasn't going to go through like every individual shoe. I should throw the chocolates in there, but we will see. That video is up right now. Dropped at the same time as this one. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Bye.